In this video, I will try to review the different tools you can use for qualitative data analysis. Here are the most important features that a qualitative data analysis tool should have. One, it should provide a free trial. Two, it should make it easy to import different forms of data, such as Word document, PDF, video, audio, and images into the software. Three, it should make it easy to create codes. Four, it should make it easy to edit codes. Five, it should make it easy to combine codes to form themes or categories. Six, it should make it easy to visualize in the software. Seven, it should make it easy to export important resources from the software. Eight, it should provide a cheaper version for students. And nine, it should be highly cited in previous scholarly articles. So, all the links to all the tools I'm going to mention in this video can be found in the description so that you can go and try out the tools yourself. Now, one of the best tools to use for qualitative data analysis, and I know I'm a bit biased because I've used this tool for long, is Envivo. If you Google Envivo, you can see Envivo provides a free 14-day trial so you can come here and download. Because I use Envivo, I already have the paid version. But let's look at the most important characteristics of this tool that makes it the best tool that you can use to conduct qualitative data analysis. Now, I just opened a sample project in Envivo. Envivo allows you the ability to import different forms of data. For example, if you click on the interviews here, you can see these are interview transcripts. So some of them are even audios. Some of them are videos. Some of them you can see that this is a written document, the one I'm double clicking. Then you can double click on this. You can see this is an audio and you can play that and code in there. There is a video. So you can import different forms of data in Envivo and you can go ahead and code them. But the best way is to transcribe your data into written Word documents and then import them. But Envivo still allows multimedia forms, which is a very important characteristic. Another important characteristic of a good qualitative data analysis tool is making it easy for you to create codes, to revise codes. As you can see, these are auto codes made in Envivo. So in Envivo, you can easily come and create codes. Right click, new code, and create a code here. One, two, three. This is just an example. You can see that's a code. Then I can go and right click on the code, go to code properties, and call this new code. I rename it. You see? Very easy. Then, and Vivo allows you to merge codes, put codes under themes, be organized easily, dragging and dropping. You can see I'm assigning codes into my new code and you can see like it's very easy, drag and drop, editing, everything. So the management of codes, subdeems and themes become quite easy in Envivo, which is a very important feature of this QDA tool. Envivo also makes it easy for you to visualize your data. For example, there's a theme here called economy and it will have different codes. So if I wanted to visualize, I can right click, go to visualize go to hierarchy chart of code and we have a tree map and we can get a sunburst there are so many visuals you can draw kind of a thing called mind map i've done previous videos on all these visualization and here you can see all this word cloud so let's see the word cloud that's gonna come out here so you can see and we will produce this word cloud sunburst or mind maps hierarchy charts there are so many things you can visualize in Envivo. That's why this tool is one of the best tools for qualitative data analysis. Now, Envivo also makes it very easy to export different resources. For example, if you press Ctrl A in a Windows computer, then go to export and export list. And let's just save this as code. And let's go in here, go to documents, and let's just go to the code area and see this Excel we just exported from Envivo. You can see Envivo makes it very easy to export the coding structure and show it to someone else, maybe your supervisor, maybe you are collaborating with other scholars. This is a kind of coding structure. You can see this is a theme, like economy. Then we have agriculture, fishing, fishing industry, you see? So there, these are different codes 
that are coded to that. Then we can also export, if you go to share, export, export code book. You can export code in NVivo. For example, I want to export auto responses. So let me just browse here. Let me put this in that section also. So let's have a code book here. So this is a code book that came from NVivo. It's another resource that you can export and use this to support your analysis. Another important advantage of using NVivo for your qualitative data analysis is that the tool has a cheaper option. For example, you can choose annual subscription and student license. So they have a cheaper version for students, $118 per year. Most qualitative data analysis softwares are quite expensive. This tool provides a cheaper version for students. Now, there's one more reason why you should use NVivo as your chosen tool for qualitative data analysis. And this is, NVivo is one of the most cited qualitative data analysis tools. Like if you look for citations for NVivo, there are so many compared to other tools. So that's why you should use NVivo in your qualitative data analysis. Let me interrupt this video for a minute and inform you of my services. My first type of service that I offer is consulting for anything related to qualitative data analysis using NVivo. You hop on a video call with me through Microsoft Teams or Zoom and I will help you become a pro with NVivo in a few hours. I also provide a done for you data analysis service. I do the manual coding and provide a data analysis report with the necessary visuals. Some kind of visuals I do include tables, hierarchy charts, and the framework matrix. Email or message me right now, details in the description. Now, the second qualitative data analysis tool that you should consider to conduct your qualitative data analysis is MaxQDA. They also provide a free trial and you can see I have the tool here. This is the tool that comes close to NVivo where you can use it to get your code. You can see the different codes to reassign codes. For example, if I drag and drop this code, you can see it comes under work life separation to create visuals. But MaxQDA is not as good as NVivo in creating visuals. You can see when you analyze a transcript, the codes that you create are tagged properly inside the transcript. So you can see typical work day statement representing a typical work day. Then we have flexibility, all these statements, free time, friends and family. These are different issues that are highlighted during the analysis. So Max QDA is also a good tool and they have a cheaper version for students, but you have to provide your student's ID for you to access the free version. But compared to NVivo, I would consider NVivo because NVivo is more cited or more scholarly sources use NVivo and NVivo does not require a student ID. The next tool that you should consider for qualitative data analysis is QDA Miner. Although this tool is not as effective as NVivo, you can see it allows the importation of different resources that you can analyze including Excel, SPSS data, data from NVivo PDFs and all that. It allows you to code on screen text. You can see the hierarchy here. It allows you to annotate, allows you to code faster and provides different ways of visualizing your data and also allows you to extract coded text segments among other issues. You can also locate events and all that. So QDA Miner is another tool you can use for qualitative data analysis. Now, in relation to pricing, I think the tool is a bit expensive compared to NVivo because the tool is not as effective and is not as highly cited as NVivo. So I would rather use NVivo rather than pay the same amount to get QDA Miner, which is not a very popular tool. So that's another tool you can use for qualitative data analysis. Transana is another tool you can use for qualitative data analysis. You can see different features, including ability to import different data sources, such as video, audio, text, PDF, allows automated transcription, but you should not use qualitative data analysis tools for transcription. I'll do another video for tools that you should use for transcription. It allows you to categorize code, analyze multiple camera video, 
customized views and reports, collaborate with colleagues, and doesn't have recurring fees. Basically, it's a tool for analyzing data that you can try to use. However, Transana is not a popular tool like Envivo or even Mac QDA. If you consider the price factor, you should try to use a tool that's more established in academics such as Envivo and Max QDA, but you can also use Transana because it's a function of qualitative data analysis tool. Another tool you can use for qualitative data analysis is F for Analyze. Okay, look at this tool. This tool is a good or it's a great tool for analysis. However, it may shortcomings is difficulties in trying to revise code and rearrange your codes, you may experience some challenges as I found when I tried to use this tool. But it's a decent tool. However, it's not a popular tool that is as highly cited as Envivo. But it's a tool that you can consider for analyzing your data. The sixth tool that you can use for qualitative data analysis is Quarkos. So you can get a free trial and try this software and see whether it suits your analysis needs. However, Quarkos is also a relatively newer tool compared to tools like Envivo, Max QDA, and even Atlas TI. So it does not have many citations. As you can see, they are saying a thousand plus total scholarly publications using Quarkos. That's not a lot, but it's a decent tool that allows easy importation, cross compatibility, how to save data visualization, all these side to side comparison, and all these ability to analyze data. You can check it out yourself and decide whether you're going to use such a tool for analysis. The seventh tool that I want to review that you can use for analysis is Atlas TI. After Envivo and Max QDA, we have Atlas TI as the third most popular tool. Atlas TI also offers a free trial that you can experiment before you commit. Atlas TI provides many features for analyzing data where you can import your data, you can visualize, you can analyze and refine your data, import and organize your files, and many more functionalities. Another tool that you can use for qualitative data analysis is Deduce. Deduce allows different ways of analyzing data that you can try. And as you can see, Deduce can be used by evaluators, market researchers, psychologists, health researchers, social scientists students and teachers, policy researchers, and sociologists, among others. However, I've not seen a free trial for d which can allow you to familiarize with the software before you commit to using it. So I think that's a big shortcoming for d Deduce is also not much cited compared to tools such as Envivo and Max QDA. The final tool that you can use to analyze your data is Target. So Target is a simplistic kind of tool, doesn't have as many functionalities of tools such as Envivo and Max QDA. However, it's a free tool that beginners can try. They can try to practice coding, coming up with them before they use more serious and more popular software such as Envivo. Now, those are the nine most popular qualitative data analysis tools. So this is my opinion on which tool you should use. I think you should use Envivo, especially if it's provided in your school. And the second tool I would recommend is Max QDA. The third tool is Atlas TI. Those are the most popular, the most easy to use, and the tools that provide the most value and the most features that you need to analyze your qualitative data. Remember, I provide done for you data analysis services and consulting services for any problem or challenge related to Envivo. So check the link and email in the description and talk to me right away. Thank you.